Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video and today we're taking a look at the Lup Keep X1 Pro. In this video, you're gonna get my complete review after testing this e-bike out for several weeks. Let's jump right in. Okay, let's quickly just see how beautiful this e-bike is. The only thing I don't like is how this rear battery or this second battery sticks out of the back. But what's incredible is this thing can get 120 miles of range because there's two different batteries. The one that you see back here and then also this other one up here inside the frame. So this is a folding fat tire e-bike similar to some other ones I've reviewed like the Aventon Cinch, but this one is way beefier and has so much more battery capacity. I also love how they have the gum soles on here with the matching seat and the matching hand grips all in that brownish color. Also like on the seat post, they've included a zoom suspension seat post. So you actually get a little bit of travel on there to make your ride that much more comfortable. This is a fake leather on the seat here along with the hand grips. Just keep that in mind, but it feels really nice and premium. Both rear and front fenders do come standard with this e-bike, along with this integrated rear rack. So this rear frame has a ton of payload capacity where you can easily mount things to like bags on the side or something on top. At the front of the bike, you get this massive LED headlight right above the front fender, and you get a front fork suspension to add to that rider comfort. Simple gears here, seven in the rear and one in the front. Really comfortable to pedal. The seat post is adjustable, so it's really comfortable and fits a lot of different people, shorter or taller. And this folding handlebar actually is telescopic, so it can go up and down as needed. Let's go over the controls real quick. On this left-hand side, you do have that elongated kind of fake leather hand grip, but it does feel nice to rest your palm there, especially if you're gonna ride for a long period of time. This is your front brake here. These are hydraulic disc brakes, and then you have your controls. So there is five levels of pedal assist. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see the center display here, but it's very simple display. Uh, you have a battery indicator up here and your speed indicator and then your level of pedal assist and an odometer down here. So very simple to uh, turn on the headlight. You just simply hold that button up and then you do get a little headlight icon here in the top left of the display. Turning on the bike is as simple as holding down the power button. Turning off is the same way. Over here on the right hand side, you do have your pretty standard shifter that I would say most of these e-bikes at this price point have. You have your twist throttle that does work from zero and then that elongated really comfortable comfortable hand grip for your right hand along with the hydraulic rear disc brake. A 750 watt rear hub motor is plenty for this e-bike even if you are bigger because of these two batteries. You're not going to have any problem reaching a really far distance. Your butt is definitely going to be sore before you run out of battery. I found that I had plenty of power with the 750 watt rear hub motor, even going up steep inclines. This thing was super comfortable to ride. I've tested it for a couple weeks now and it is really phenomenal. I think these four inch tires give a lot to the cushion of the ride, not to mention with the seat post suspension that I talked about and these front forks. Now, primarily if you're on a path, it's gonna be absolutely no problem. If you're on some gravel, and I think that this can really maintain that. This is gonna be great for somebody who is a commuter who has a really long commute, because you could easily do, let's say 50 mile commute with this thing, bring this rear battery into your office with you, 
plug it in while you're at work, bring it out with you, and then commute home. And that can all be done on the throttle, or you can pedal if you'd like. Okay, there you have it. That's my full review of this e-bike. If you want to pick up one of these, click the affiliate link right below the like button. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.